bow, bow, bow. Fuck rap. Busting like an attic with a semi-automatic. Couldn't have it. I'm ready for anybody to buck back. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. Episode 72. Oh, let me put my glasses on. That's better. That's better. Look at this, late. Look at this, people. We literally have three fucking cards left. Can you believe it? There was a... And then we're moving on to this other 100 pack. I've had these for fucking years. Ah, oh, brings back memories. I bought these when I was living in British Columbia. And I was going to... Oh. I should probably bring the mic out, right? Fucking idiot. Jeez. I was in British Columbia. I was going to Vancouver Film School. Like an idiot. I'm just kidding. But like an idiot, I didn't stick with it. And I uh, bailed. Got out of there. I've been to college a few times. Never finished it. Never did. Olive! Stop making all this racket. Jeez. He's always got to be up and with me. Why can't you be a one? Get down. Come on, Olive. Get down. You can lay down over here somewhere. There's a bed right there. Lay down on the bed. Go on the bed. There you go. Oval. Oveler. Yes. 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 I've got I've got plans for this podcast. Just you wait and see. Um, maybe next episode. Maybe the next. Maybe the episode after this. I'm not sure yet, but uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be something special. It's gonna be new. There's gonna be a funky episode. It's gonna be funk, funktastic. Okay. Speaking of funk, remember I mentioned Matthew Posa, the uh, bushcraft YouTuber fella. He's got the uh, the dog named Monty. Monty and Ruger, he's got two. But anyway, his wife's name is Funk. It's Funk, F-U-N-K. He always he always says it like, I'll bring the, I'll bring some food home to Funk. I'm cooking some spaghetti. I'll bring a little bit extra home for Funk, Funk. And I <laughs> I actually commented on one of his videos and I said, Why is your girlfriend's or your wife's name Funk? And what did he say? He he actually replied to me. He actually he liked every comment I ever put on his videos. So he probably likes a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of uh, you know pretty well all his comments. He probably likes them because he's uh, he's got uh, you know he's got a big audience, but not not compared to other people. And look at this. Smosh has a has a fucking uh, podcast now. Just like everyone. And they're only on episode 9. Ha! I'm beating you, Smosh. Fuck you. I'm on episode 72. You want to beat me? You can't. Ooh, Mr. Beast put out a video. I hate these ones where he gives away money to strangers. Those are the worst. I bought some Mr. Beast. Uh, well, I bought one piece of merch. And that was one of his uh, his sweaters. How do I look at these notifications? We call that shit genocide. Oh, well. All fucking well. Anyway, I know he said, I, I commented on his video and said, what did I say? I said, why is your wife's name Funk? And then he said, I don't know. She was born that way. She was born that way. She was born with the name Funk. Can you believe Billy Eyelash or Elish? Elish? El Whatever her name is, she's only 17. Isn't that cray cray? 
gosh. Think back to when you were 17. Could you imagine having her success when you were 17? <laughs> yeah, you have Billy's success. Billy. Since when does YouTube have movies? They have movies. You can pay to watch movies. Does anybody do that? Because you could just use any of the other options out there. I, I, would, I don't know if I'd ever use YouTube to... To uh ba 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 to watch movies. Ooh. Join your Lucas and Logic made a new fucking song called Isis. What? And in brackets it says A D H D. Well, I'll have to check that out. Buck grab, come on with it at it. Bussin' with it, bussin' like an addict with a semi-automatic. Fucking love that song, Homicide. Homicide with uh, what the fuck? What are their names? Um, 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 Eminem and Logic. Okay. But we, 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 we are, we are the youth of the nation. Of course, Olive is sitting right, right on the floor, right under me. What are you doing, Olive? You gonna stand there the whole time? He'll be standing for an hour or so. We haven't even got to the first topic yet, Olive. You just gonna stand there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, last episode. Sorry, I'm just picking it. I'm just picking it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I was mentioning me, uh, I was transitioning from pill to pill. Get down, Olive. No, get down. And, uh, I've been having headaches. It's hard. I'm doing it right. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, but it's still giving me a headache. It's, you know, every day I have a headache. It's not so bad now, but I do have a headache right now. I have a headache right now. And it's around this time every day when it starts. And I cannot fucking wait for it to stop. Because it drives me insane. We call that shit genocide! So, yeah. But, and also last time I said, it makes me feel like... Uh, like I'm... Uh, uh, sorry. What was the word I used to describe it? Like neutral, emotionless. That's how I felt last episode. But it's not like that today, so that's a good sign. That means these pills can possibly do something for me. <laughs> we call that shit genocide. I'm sorry, I got that song stuck in my head. I'm trying to memorize the... Well, I'm trying to learn how to rap that song because it's so fucking good. And Logic has such a good chorus in that song. It's fast. And it's, and it's got a great fucking flow. So I'm like, I got to learn this song. So I can rap it while I'm listening to it in my car. <laughs> she be D, if you're wondering. She be D, she be D. We call that shit genocide. Is it gonna focus? Buck rap. Nope. <gasps> you gotta put it under your tongue and let it dissolve, right? Is that how it works? <sighs> I'll just end up swallowing it because it takes too long. Bree ba ba, bree ba ba. Come here, Olive. Here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're going over here. 
Lay down. Lay down, my horse. Stay there. Oh, what's on the floor here? Oh. Um, a couple episodes ago, we did that nature trail. Remember? Did you see it? If you didn't see it, the thumbnail is dog versus gopher. And yeah, it's clickbait. Because I said blood warning. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck, alright? I don't get any views as it is. So let me do this. Let me let me try something to get some views. I mean, come on. I could, I could have the views. Alright, but we're only 72 podcasts, podcasts in, which is a lot, but not not enough. And I'm very bad at promoting myself. I used to do it a lot, haven't done it, might start doing it again, don't know. But again, there's different ways to approach YouTube. Uh, a lot of people have said um, during... the Doing the, uh, a lot of YouTubers who are successful have said, really, they de they never really did promote. It's just the consistency of uploading. You gotta be consistent, and you gotta keep doing it. Just keep doing it. People go on YouTube every day of every second, so eventually, you can get somewhere, and it's practice you practice and you get better at it and you find new ways of doing it and eventually you can make it and let me tell you i've been on youtube since 2007 this channel has not been on youtube since 2007 but you know what happened to my old channel if you watch the first video on this channel okay so I'm not going to go through that story again. I've done it plenty of times. But basically, I lost my original channel. Had to create this channel, which I've had since 2009. But I've been on YouTube. I've been, I've been a creator on YouTube since 2007. You could say I'm one of the original content creators, but you can't. Even though I've done it since 2007, I didn't, I've never had the following. There's a few of my videos that have like uh, 60,000 views. <laughs> That's only like two of my videos. The rest are all either one view or two view, you know? It's crack a lack and crazy. And people will look at me like I'm crazy. And I'll say, why are you doing it if nothing is happening? And I'll say, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me do this and watch it happen. Because it will. <laughs> it's got to, right? Someday. 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 Fidget spinner. That's what I'm playing with. This is actually the prototype. One of the prototypes, or no, this isn't a fidget spinner, it's a fidget, fidget cube, sorry. This is one of the prototypes of the fidget cube, so it doesn't work that great. It's not smooth. Um, something's, like, a few of these buttons are broken on here. And this, this little joystick used to be smoother, but it's, you used to be able to push it in and it felt nice, and then you could rotate it around. But now it's like broken. It doesn't work properly. I need a better fidget cube. This one is uh, the original. And it's got to go. All of you back on the floor again. Who would have thunk it? And speaking of Olive, when. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to talk The Nature Trail video. Um. That bridge that I crossed, right before I crossed that bridge, right before I started filming, there was this woman, and she had a big dog on a leash. And I was walking toward her with Olive, and I had Olive on a leash. And she was exiting the bridge, and I was about to enter onto the bridge. And she said, oh, oh, 
as, like, as I was approaching her, she's like, oh, he's, my dog's aggressive. And, like, it was, it was the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard. Like, she's like, oh, my dog's aggressive. Please, please stand away. And she's, like, pulling on his, on his fucking leash, trying to hold him out of the way. And I gotta move out of the way. I'm just trying to walk. Why, like, why the fuck does, would this girl bring her dog, her aggressive dog, to this public trail where she knows other dogs are gonna be? She was basically saying, oh, my dog doesn't interact good with other dogs. I can't remember exactly what she said. Like, my dog doesn't like dogs. Well, why are you fucking walking it then, you stupid bitch? And she tells me to move out of the way. Like, fuck you. Go home. That really pissed me off. That, like, kind of ruined a bit of that uh, that walk for me. But I let it slide, and then I just pulled out my phone. And, and right as I started recording on that bridge, you can probably still hear her walking away. Because I, I barely acknowledged her because she was such a stupid cunt, and I didn't want anything to do with her. I shouldn't say that. That's not like me. I don't call women the C words. But I mean, really. She was. It's stupid. People are dumb. Don't tell me to move out of the way. This is a trail for all of us. And if you're gonna. And you're ruining it by bringing your stupid, ugly dog. Her aggressive dog. And he was aggressive. He would have eaten all of. <laughs> Just some people don't care. And maybe her argument is, well, um, the only way to get him used to dogs is bringing him out with other dogs. Sure, but you gotta gradually do it. You gotta, you gotta gradually get him comfortable in public scenarios. Don't just jump in and then tell people to move out of your way because your dog's aggressive. That was very, very, like, it wasn't even rude. I guess you could say it's rude, but it was, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. You wouldn't have liked it either. Can you hear the bumping music next door? Almost every day this happens. And it's not like I'm, I'm not trying to be like an old grumpy man because I'm not old. But it kind of, it's kind of irritating. Even though I'm the kind of person who would play loud music and bump in it. But, I don't know. Actually, uh, being on the other end of the music, listening to other people pound their music, and it's on a daily basis. I feel like going over there and telling them to shut the fuck up. But I also don't want to do that because, uh, I don't know. It's just music, right? And again, like, I'm the kind of person who would do something like that. But I, I wouldn't, I don't know. What can I say? Maybe when I'm a grumpy 40-year-old man, I will go out there. Well, hopefully I'm not still here by then. Jesus Christ, if I'm still in <laughs> At 40 years old? Ooh, I shouldn't have said where I was living. Uh, cut it! Cut that shit out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gosh. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. I don't want people knowing where I live. I'll, I'll write it down so I remember. How far into this are we? 19... We'll say like 19... Something. Uh, I'll just put a little note here, cut out, because I don't want anyone to know where I'm living. I'll bleep it out, and you'll never know. You'll never know. Oh, they're still listening to Dead Mouse. When I came home, they were listening to Dead Mouse, and they're still listening to Dead Mouse. So that makes me a little happy, <laughs> but it's still loud though, you know, 
sure they got a good taste in music. But I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, the other day, speaking of loud music, the other day, I, well, actually it would have been a month ago probably, a month or two ago, I had my music blasting, um, and at the time there was nobody living downstairs. So I have my music pumping, just like these guys. And I was doing dishes or something, and then I hear a knock on my door, and this, and then I open it. I'm like, "Hello," and this guy's like, "Hey, I live downstairs." And I'm like, "Oh, sorry," and then I had to turn my music down. But I didn't know there was someone living down there. There was nobody. There was no one there when I moved in, and there wasn't there for months. And no one told me that someone moved in. So all of a sudden, someone's living there. And he's knocking on my door, telling me to shut the fuck up. And it wasn't even that loud, to be honest. So now I'm kind of like self-conscious about even listening to the TV a little too loud. I'm constantly fiddling with the volume because there's quiet parts in a show you gotta turn it up, and then as soon as it gets loud, you gotta turn it back down. I don't. Ugh. I shouldn't do that. I should just let it play at a good volume where I can hear it all throughout. And if he doesn't like it, well, he can suck my big fat arsehole. I've got dingleberries in there, and he can pick them out with his teeth and chew them. Because I. If I want to watch television, I'm going to watch television. And television, I was thinking about this the other day when I was watching um, Ear Biscuits podcast, Rhett and Link. Um, Link had this, uh, uh, I guess you call it an, an incident, where he uh, had to take his, he calls him his father-in-law, but it's not his father-in-law, it's his, it's his mother's husband which is not father-in-law but anyway he calls him that anyway he had like ulcers in his uh small intestine and it was causing him to like there was a tear and there was, then there was internal bleeding and he was pissing blood and it was he was bleeding so badly that they had to give him like 14 pints of blood by the end of like three days which i think they determined is the average amount your body holds is about that many pints of blood so he completely drained his his blood system and refilled it but anyway while they were in the hospital they were watching tv and then I was wa- and you know cuz they were they were they were he was trying to comfort his uh father-in-law Okay, but it got to a point where he was running out of things to talk about, so they they had the TV. Okay, I want to I want to focus on television right now. And there was another episode where they did um, they ranked their top five favorite game shows, and it just got me thinking about television. Like, whoever's watching this obviously grew up with a TV and ha- has had a TV in their life. We've all been through that point unless you're really old and it just got me thinking like television television is something that's very important to us it really is it's okay think of it like this like when you're home sick like on a sick day of school what do you do you watch fucking the price is right because that's all that's on during lunch you watch The Price is Right. You're in a hospital like Link. You run out of shit to say. Stuff gets awkward. You're cranky because you're in the hospital. You don't know what's going to happen. You're stressed. But at least you got the TV. The TV. Television is there to comfort you. You know, you can find some sort of happiness through television. 
Even if you're just home alone. You got nothing to do. You've done all your chores or whatever. You got television. Television is always there. If you just really think about it. And I'm glad it exists. I really am. There's so many... All of our memories can be associated with some sort of television program or movie. Um, it really is almost necessary. I mean, yeah, we can live without it. We have. But now that we've had it, you can really understand how wonderful television is. And with that being said... Uh, I might have a little hoop. I am so hungry. It's, it's, oh my god, it's 2.17. I haven't eaten yet. I don't want to wait for my lunch to get colder. But if I do, I surely will be you. Olive, go. Go lay down. Go lay down, Olive. You don't have to be with me. You don't have to be with me every second. Come on, go lay down. Go lay down. On the bed. Lay down somewhere. Find a spot. There you go, lay down. Lay down. I know it's not a comfy bed, but it is a bed nonetheless. Got the old broken cheech still. I hope this doesn't give me a headache, because it does. Now, with this whole pill transition. And I can't wait for the fucking headaches to stop. <sighs> you would think that weed would, would fucking help with that, but it... Kind of exacerbates it. I hate to say it, but it exacerbates it. That's a funny word. Exacerb is that a real word? Exacerbate? I gotta see. Hold on. Before I do this, uh, egg, how would you spell that? Exas. Exacerbate. That there's no way that's how it's spelled. Yep, that is a real word. Exacerbate. How do you say it though? Put my headphones on. How do you how do you, how do you say it? Oh, I'm plugged into the wrong thing. Stupid. Plug it into the right fucking input, you dummy. Yeah, exacerbate. Exacerbate. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. Ah. <coughs> <coughs> uh. My lungs must be anticipating something. <laughs> yes. By next week, I'll have this fucking audio interface up and running. New mic. Uh, new something else. I can't remember. But shit's gonna be fucking better. It's gonna get better. I hope I found, I hope this fixes the audio interface. I really do. I really, 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 really do. It should though, it really should. Okay. But if it doesn't, what I can do is just buy a microphone that doesn't require phantom power. And then that should should do something. Is there such thing as a mic that doesn't require phantom power? There's got to be, right? Like, obviously this doesn't or does. Maybe it does. I don't know. But it's just USB, this guy. It's good. It's better than uh, than most mics. But people see this blue Yeti and they're like, oh, what an amateur. What the fuck? He's a fucking amateur. Uh, so I gotta get rid of it. Uh, so 
Some people would say, don't let the public tell you what to do. And do what you want. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to do it because I'm going to screw it. And you know what I'm saying, fool. 48 volts don't give a shit. I got nine with the packs and credits shit. But if you know what I say about a pumpkin spit. And if you don't want rhymes, I got bitch the crimes. Here we go, flow with the Eskimo pussy farts. Make me bitch with a coast and coat larts. I got Oxford Dictionary. Make me Samson time with the coast and coast of line. Okay, let's have a hoop. I'm starting to sweat. Global warming, am I right? It's fucking like 29 degrees outside. Can't even step out there. Celsius. Okay, now I gotta see what that is in Fahrenheit, because I'm curious. I know, I know, I know, I know you just want me to take this hoop, but I will in a second. 29 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. 84 degrees. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit's hot, bro. And if you're from Los Angeles, you're probably like, what well, ain't hot? What the fuck you talking about? Because you guys get up into the hundreds. Man, I can't even imagine what that must be. I hate the heat. I fucking hate it. I feel a sneeze, but I... I'm not sure if it's going to come out or not. Deo Misa Deo Daylight come and Oliver goes home I think I gotta poo too I gotta sneeze and poo Okay, here we go Let's hope I don't get a worse headache Cheers everyone <gasps> cutting down on my cannabis consumption I just wanna I don't know every once in a while it's good to take a little a little uh, tolerance break um, if you don't know what that means it means my tolerance to weed has been very high and when that happens um, you go through weed like a motherfucker because it takes a lot to get you to the high state. So, you slow her down. And, uh, you know, I know someone who, who, who decided to just stop for like a couple months. I don't know if I want to do that. It's not like I haven't done it. I have. Not by choice, but because I, I was uh, working away. And it doesn't bother me. But if I'm at home and I know my weed is there, it's hard for me to just say, oh, I'm not going to smoke you. It's hard because it's there. It's just ready. It feels like my headache's going away. I did take two Tylenol, so that might be why. Olive, you're shaking. Get down. Get down. 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 I said no. Come on. Go, go, go somewhere. You don't have to sit up here. You don't have to, Olive. Because <coughs> uh, 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 I want it that way. 
I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Hold on. My hair's wet because I just got out of the shower. It's not greasy, so don't think it's greasy. If it looks greasy, it's because it's wet. It's not because I'm greasy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we should continue on. Back in the day. Can't even sing a rap song because it has the N word. Back in the day. Beepers, they used to whack. But now we're 93. Beepers ain't saying jack. By beeper, I mean the N word. Can't say that anymore. You can't. You get in trouble. You get demonetized. You'll get thrown off YouTube. Unless you're PewDiePie. And get away with that stuff. Kind of. I had a dream. <coughs> I had a dream the other night. That I surpassed PewDiePie. <laughs> and... T series in subscribers, and then I got interviewed by a lot of people, and it was it was a fun dream. I'm constantly, constantly dreaming about the future of Dynamite Gizmo, and by Dynamite Gizmo, I mean all of my creative endeavors, because they're all under the same uh, alias, production name. I don't know, Dynamite Gizmo. Where did I get that from? Well, I think I told that story. Couldn't tell you what podcast it was, but I'm pretty sure I told that story. So, I'm not going to tell it again. There's no way I wouldn't have not told that story by now. You know? 72 podcasts in. We're almost at 80, and then we're almost at 90, and then, fuck, we're almost at 100. 100 and then fuck then another year will go by and I'll be at 200 and then another year and then three it's just gonna go on and on and on until I take over the Joe Rogan podcast and Joe Rogan dies Dynamite Gizmo podcast will swallow the Joe Rogan podcast whole and then uh will become one. All of stop licking. That's very loud and annoying. I dream about stuff like that constantly. Like it's constant. All that's on my mind. Oliver, stop it. Is the my future. And that's why I stress and ex- and have anxiety a lot. Because I get worried that it's not going to happen. And then, 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 you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shit for brains, shit for brains, shit for brains. You've got shit for brains. You don't have a brain. You only got shit. In your head, you only got shit for brains. You only got shit in your head. You only got shit in your head. I'm so fucking hungry. I'm so fucking hungry. I could eat a camel. Or I could eat a squirrel too. If you want to dance, I'll come and dance with you. But first, I need to eat a shoe because I'm hungry just like you. Please give me some food. La la la. La la. Please give me some food. I would like. I would please give me some food. I want to eat, but I don't want you. New hit single. 
I'm Hungry by the Beastie Boys. <coughs> hum. The, the Valley Folk. I mentioned them earlier. Still, still, actually, no, I'm not. I finished every video they have. They're still listening to Dead Mouse. I can hear it still. Anyway. <coughs> what if they're trying to taunt me? No, that's not Dead Mouse. Never mind. That's definitely not Dead Mouse. That's fucking. I know what it is. It's a mainstream song. If this mic is picking that music up, I'm gonna be pissed because that's 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 guaranteed demonetization right there. Because the fucking algorithm is so retarded. I know this song. It's a fucking mainstream song. Can I hear myself? Let's see. Hey, hey, okay, I can hear myself now. Good, it's not picking up that music in the background. Perfect! Perfect! Perf! Oh, my stomach. It's growling. I'm so hungry, y'all. Oh, what the fuck was that? Something black just fell out of my fucking head. You see that? Oh, there's nothing there. This is a big black chunk of something. Oh, fell again. You see? Blackness? That was on my fucking head. I don't like black things. In my hair. If you guys could hear this music, you'd be grooving too. Oh, that's what it is. My fucking headphones are shedding. Oh my god, these are so cheap and bullshit. These are not real beats, okay? You can tell that I had to duct tape it because it fell apart. These are these are not beats. These are Chinese knockoffs with all the Beats logos all over it. It says Beats by Dre, Monster. It's even got a fucking serial number. But they're not. <laughs> These are not real Beats. Okay? They're not. These came from China. From a friend I once knew. I haven't seen him in fucking forever. Which I should contact him now that I think about it. But anyway, um, he knew a fella who would go to China and buy all kinds of knockoff stuff. Whether it was shoes or headphones or shirts or whatever. And then he'd come back to North America and sell them for the original price. You know, he'd buy the knockoff cheap, and then he would sell it for the price that you would buy an actual pair of Beats. Because they look like Beats, they certainly don't sound like Beats, and they don't feel like Beats. Like, this is cheap plastic, and this, the little screws fall out, which is why I had to put duct tape on here. I would have put the screws back in, but they're so small, there's no way I could find them. They are, they just go away. They fall out and roll away. And you'll never find them because they're, they're tiny. Uh, oh, and also, now what's happening is the fucking foaminess here. It's all deteriorating, okay? They even fold up like beets, okay? And then they have a beets case, a leather case, but they're not. They're, they're garbage, but it's all I got. I have a, where are they? 
Oh, I bet they're in here. I've got a, I've got a, all my cables organized. They are in here. Why are they in the bottom drawer? I've got these JVC headphones with a really long cord, but these are even worse quality than these Beats. So I don't use these either. I'm gonna put these in the top drawer because that's where they belong. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. Dum dum dum. We are the champions. Valley folk, have you checked them out yet? If not, check them out. Their podcast, every single episode, has a brand new theme song because they get their audience to make theme songs, 30-second theme songs. You submit it, and Steve Zagarosa plays it. Plays a different one every episode. Or Joe. If Steve's not there. Um, so I'm thinking of making a theme song and submitting it. Which I've, I'm definitely going to do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because uh, i got to start doing stuff to promote my channel. I did it once back in the day, and it worked with Bob Jens. As you know, the 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 Reaper Raper video. He he uh, featured it in his video, which got me a bunch of views and a few subscribers. Way back in the day, but now that video's gone for good. It's gone. YouTube YouTube fucking sliced and diced it. They said, you know what, this, this video, uh, it doesn't, uh, cooperate with our community guidelines, so we're just gonna fucking get rid of it. You could dispute it, which I did, and I wrote some stuff, wasn't good enough, they said, we read your dispute, and... We are still going to remove your video. And yeah, I could have taken it farther. But I'm... I'm such a small fish in a... Large ocean. Okay? It would be quite a daunting task for me to get that video back out on YouTube. Maybe someday. I still have the video. So I could re-upload it and just uh, uh, retitle it. Because obviously the algorithm picked up that title. Because it has the word rape in it. But it's not like anybody's actually getting raped. Okay? It's a joke. It's an inflatable costume. And people loved it. It was one of my... It was a great creation, one of those spontaneous things that happens and it ends up blowing up. And everybody I've ever shown laughed their ass off at it. But it's gone. It's it's no more. Again, I still have the foot I still have the video. So maybe someday I'll re upload it. I don't know. I'm just repeating myself now. I'm just repeating myself. I'm just peeing in my pants. And that feels like just yesterday I made that shit. Feels like just yesterday I was in middle school. Making videos with my friends pretty well every day. And editing. And just dreaming of being a director. I f Why does life go by so fast? It really does.
as a child, it feels like it's not going by fast. But then as you merge into adulthood, and the older you get, the faster life goes. Vsauce actually talked about this and, and why that is. And yeah, I don't remember really the majority of the video. Well, I kind of do, but I don't feel like explaining it. So just go watch Vsauce. How, how long have we been recording for here? 50 minutes or something? Oh, my knees. Oh. oh, my knee. I can't sit like this forever. Olive, get down. You get down right now. I swear to God. Get down. Ow. Did I talk about everything? Ma, 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 I did. Except for that one thing, which I was supposed to talk about the last podcast, and I didn't. So let's talk about it now, and then we'll move on to the final segment, which is the Reddit posts. Reddit! Okay. Um, when I was in elementary, elementary school, and... Even junior high school, and a little bit of high school. No, not really high school, but definitely elementary school. Which, if you don't know, if you call it something else in your country, I'm sorry. But if you don't know what it is, what elementary school is, that's from kindergarten to grade 6. If you don't know what kindergarten is, then you can suck my dick. Some people call it grade primary the 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 <laughs> the grade before grade 1 okay grade 0 where you just sit in a room and color and play with blocks that type of shit from then on till about middle school somewhere i was into garfield i i freaking loved that shit the comics the garfield comics those were the best I bought two two big books, but they had three books in each. And then each book had about like well over a hundred or two hundred comics in each. So I I spent a lot of time reading Garfield. But I didn't like Garfield as much as SpongeBob. SpongeBob was the shit. Everything in my room was SpongeBob. Everything I wore was Spongebob. I even knew how to draw Spongebob. And I became known in my class as the person who draws Spongebob. Like, I remember there was a pumpkin carving contest. And what did I carve? Spongebob. And I did pretty good with it, actually. Because I, I could draw it good. So I knew, and I th before I even carved, I had thought about every detail. Because I knew... If you just started carving, you could, you'll fuck it up, and you'll just have one square. So you gotta, you gotta do it right. So I thought about it, drew it, which I already knew how to draw SpongeBob, and then cut it out, and I fuck, I fucking won. And whenever there was any sort of drawing thing in class, like I remember. Um, <laughs> We had to do, we had to draw something for uh, like reduce reuse recycling program. They wanted our pictures, and we had to base our pictures off of doing good in the environment. Uh, so what I did was I don't remember exactly, but it was SpongeBob, <laughs> SpongeBob picking up garbage or something. I don't know. Yeah. I was obsessed with Bob Le Punge. That's the French version of SpongeBob. Because I live in Canada, every product you buy has the English uh, written on it, but then it also has French underneath it. So you learn, you learn some French stuff, and uh, 
when I bought a, whenever I b- b- well, whenever I would buy a SpongeBob toy or shirt or whatever, the tag on it or the packaging would feature the French uh, translation of SpongeBob, and that turns out to be Bob Le Punge. <laughs> And that used to make me laugh. Just like poop and farts, which still make me laugh. I was a little a little bit of a, a dingus, so. Which we all kind of were growing up. Because you know, maybe not you, but most people as a child, they would, you would laugh when you would see a disabled person walking funny. That was funny. I'm not saying everybody felt that way, but, you know, as a child, you don't know any better. And it's so out of the ordinary that when you see it, you just got to laugh. And I've noticed I've I'm way past that now. Like if I see a disabled person walking funny for whatever reason. There's the thought of laughing doesn't even come to my head. I mean, yeah. I could see why there's a funny appeal to it, but there's no way I want to laugh. Even if even if privately I'm just watching something, like through a window, you might think, oh, it's safe to laugh, but I still won't laugh at it. I'm slowly trying to become a more positive entity. I'm so sick of negative, 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 baby, negative, baby. Negativity, eh, baby. <laughs> Negativity. It's everywhere. And it ruins people. The beginning stages of adulthood are not fun. I don't I don't know what it's gonna be like to be thirty, but I have a feeling I'm going to be more comfortable with life than I am right now, which is probably obvious and can go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you're my age, you don't know what it's going to be like to be 30 or 40 or 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Like, could you, Im- you can't even imagine what it's going to be like to be 90 years old. That's such a long time away. But like I said in the beginning of the podcast, life goes so freaking quick. You'll blink and you'll be fucking 90 tomorrow. And you'll be like, what the hell? Just yesterday I was filming a podcast. And now I can't even get out of my bed without a machine. Well, probably by the time I'm 90... If I even make it that far. Technology will be so improved. That maybe. uh, We won't even feel pain anymore. Or maybe. All old decrepit people who can't even walk or get out of bed. Without being hunched over and, and hurting. They'll have. Robot limbs. Prepared and ready to go for them. Or maybe the singularity is going to happen and we'll just stop aging because we'll be computers. Our, con- <clears throat> our consciousness will just live in a hard drive or something. Because we'll get to a point where we realize, why do we need these stupid bodies? They just get in the way, and they're slow, and you got to do a bunch of shit to maintain it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know. It's like uh, bound to happen. We're going to get rid of our bodies. We're not even going to have sex to reproduce. 
everyone's gonna be a test tube baby because it's safer and you can choose whatever kind of genetics you want to give your child so th no one will ever be born with a birth defect or sickness or tumors or whatever that won't happen we'll still have sex for fun maybe or maybe we won't maybe we'll reach a point where we, uh, we realize orgasms are not needed obviously if we're having test tube babies I mean it's are humans gonna want to give up the the sex and the orgasm because that's like unless we can recreate that feeling that's something that's you know you can't just go to a grocery store and buy an orgasm <laughs> That's something that has to be achieved through some sort of sexual act. And it's a feeling, it's a sensation that's very hard to describe. And I can only imagine it would be very hard to recreate artificially. But I don't know. I don't know anything. Let's just fucking go to Reddit. Let's go to Reddit. I read it. Oh, yeah. I am a crown Victoria. Pop, 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 pop. I'm so hungry. I could eat a whole camel. I could eat a whole fucking camel. I could fucking eat a camel. And a squirrel. And a dog. And Mrs. Lawn Chair. Yeah, that's her stupid name. Her name is Mrs. Lawn Chair. Yeah. Mrs. Lawn Chair. Yeah. Wait, there's no way we've been going for two hours. There's no. What? Well, um, I can't say for sure, but this is confusing. Ha! Ha! Look at that. Can you see that? 29 degrees Celsius equals 84.2 degrees. 84.2 Neil deGrasse Tyson's. And look, there's here's the ISIS video. I'll watch it in a bit. But we're going to Reddit. You see this? Look at all the advertisements. Sobeys and Safeway liquor. Patio season is here. But if someone doesn't realize this is an O, they'll just say, Patty season is here. And you can't see my mouse. I've noticed that. It sucks. Okay, here we go. Funny subreddit. What? Oh, right. So, uh... We okay. I'm gonna scroll just so I know. Scroll back up. Okay. Um. The fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah. We're just gonna look at the homepage of Reddit. My homepage. I'm not gonna go to the popular one. I might. I might someday. But not this time. We're just gonna do my homepage. And see what's see what's going on. So, funny subreddit. Try an experiment with photosynthesis. Put two mice in two containers, but put a plant at the bottom of one. The mouse without the plant will die because it ran out of oxygen. But before this experiment, we've proven you have some serious psychological problems. Seriously, it was just photosynthesis. We knew it already. Herbert died for nothing. Yeah. You fucking killed Herbert. Oh, calligraphy with a fork. I try. I, I tried to get into calligraphy when I right after I went to 
uh, what the hell is it called? Shakespeare's house. I actually went to his house, okay, uh, in Europe, wherever it was, in England somewhere. I don't remember. I went to his house, and you could buy, I bought a book, and you can buy, like, calligraphy pens and ink and the feather pens. And I bought a, I bought a, it's right here. I have the calligraphy pen right here. And I don't know where the ink went, but I tried it, and it's not easy. And this guy's doing it with a fork. He's forking it up. <clears throat> uh, what is this thing, subreddit? Found this in my apartment after vacation. I live alone. What? Oh, it's solved. Let's see what it is. Where's the comments? Uh, that's a tamper evident lure lock syringe cap. Ah. Might want to look around for used syringes. Just be careful with the search so you don't actually get stick yourself with the used needle. Any evidence of anyone breaking in or being there while you're on vacation? Wow, okay, who posted this? Posted by user deleted. Oh, you fucker. There's still cash on the table and everything. Really freaking creepy. Huh. That is creepy. Imagine coming home. After, where did it go? Okay, why isn't it showing the picture? But imagine coming home after vacation and you find a fucking syringe cap on your table. That's, f that would freak the fuck out of me. Uh, Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin subreddit? You don't know what Dun Dunder Mifflin is? Well, you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Dunder Mifflin. I'm not even going to tell you. You should know what Dunder Mifflin is. Here's uh, Kevin. That's an all right painting. I wouldn't put that on my wall. Well, it's a, good, it's a nice painting, but I wouldn't put it on my wall. Red Dead, I paused during a thunderstorm right when lightning struck in Red Dead 1, and the image looks like a horror movie. That does look like a horror movie. Good for you. Look at this dog. That is oddly satisfying. That's cool. Um, I frequently shove my sister's makeup brushes in my ass in the conf confession subreddit. What? Title says it all, but in normal confession style, this will get a full write-up, of course. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. My sister is less than a year older than me. Oh, I thought he was going to say my sister is less than a year. She is just a god-awful person. Since we were very little, she's always loved to see people suffer. And bonus points if, if she herself caused the suffering. She played the shy girl, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. <laughs> I met my then girlfriend. Bitch of a sister. Had something to say. Blah, blah, blah. For some reason, my sister had set out against my girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. Came, then came my breaking point. Uh, shoved my shoved her brush up my ass, basically. So there you go. Oh, that's it. That's a that's an awesome looking cat. That Somali cat. Damn. I want one of those. Life lesson. Oh, dog snatched your shit. I bet that baby started crying right after that. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I could watch this all day. Let's see what this is. Oh. Yeah, bitch. Don't stand in his way. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I love stuff like that. She's like, what the hell happened? Oh my god, why would he push me like that? 
You're on the wrong side of the rope, girl. Get out of the way. Stupid. Cats are assholes. Oh, I remember this one. Bunk! Sends them flying. Fly high! Monsieur. Another cat one. If you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. That's a nice picture. What could go wrong? Whoa! That's some pressure right there. Holy. That lifted the kid right up in the air and flipped him around. Damn. How much pressure is coming out of that fucking sprinkler? <laughs> Damn. Oh. That's Olive right there. Watch this. Ooh. Whoa. Looks like the dog is headless. Oh, it's in a Photoshop battle. Let's see what people did with it. What did they do? Ah, made him into a bat. Nice. That's fucking beautiful. What else we got? What's this? Oh, no, this is just a subreddit, isn't it? It is. Okay, get out of here. What did this guy do? Ah, it's a horse. Not so great, but okay. Epic Pingu. What's this one? Ah, now we're talking. Indiana. And another one. Beautiful. That's just beautiful. Here comes the sun, ba da ba da. I'm not sure what that's from. But uh, we got a headless man on a stick and a headless dog on a stick. The head of a dog, the head of a man, I should say. I say, old bean, is that the postman I hear? Okay, okay, okay. Give me something funny, give me something good. Bowl. It's all right, I guess. It's not a strike, but he called it a strike. Whack a dog. Wow. Like, you think there would be some people who actually can do better job photoshopping. This is, this is a pretty good photoshop job right here. Right as I said that, a good one shows up. Dog. Dog, 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 dog. Okay, we'll do two more. And then we'll go back to Red Hat. Okay, Crystal Bell. And a king in the north. North side, Long Beach. New shoes with the blue suede. Blue suede, the blue suede, the blue suede. Happy birthday to Nick G. Not safe for work. Oh, I gotta be careful with this one. Because if this isn't safe for work, it's not safe for YouTube. But let's see. Oh. You're watching. Hold on, rewind. Someone in chat wants me to say Hey, yeah, hey, but And happy birthday to Nick Gurr. <gasps> Someone in chat wants me to say that. Uh, Happy birthday, Nick Gurr. Oh. All right. We do have also honorable oh, mentions. She, she just realized. <laughs> Wait. And happy birthday to Nick Ooh. Gurr, if you're watching. Someone in chat wants me to say that. Happy <laughs> birthday, Nick Gurr. Oh. All right. She, look, she just realized. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, did I just say? I got to see the comments of this. Oh. Holy crap, that's sudden... I know, that sudden realization, right? Wow. This happens so often. Some people are so good at creating those those names that you don't even realize it's a fake name, even when you say it. Although I would have probably figured that one out. 
Here we go, SpongeBob. So SpongeBob lives in a circular pineapple. No, it's it's not circular. But the in well, I guess yeah, it's curved. But the inside has corners. The man lives in a pineapple under the sea and has a snail that meows. And you're concerned with the architectural accuracy of his home like everything else makes perfect fucking sense. Damn, Wellington. What's a nice name, Wellington? Bomb has been planted. Did the dog take a poop? That looks like shit to me. The tree is cut down to open space for outdoor signs. Of a kid hugging a tree. Wow. They cut down a tree to put billboards up of a kid hugging a tree. Fantastic. What a beautiful world we live in. Uh, I was out working and found an abandoned baby deer. We found it a good home. My dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but baby deer stay in the same place alone to camouflage themselves until their mother returns. Yeah, you stupid fuck. Why would you take the deer home? You dumb dumb. Which actor or actress got cast in a role that they normally wouldn't play and absolutely crushed it? Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday. Yeah, I don't care, really. Player 3 has entered the game. I don't hear anything. Oh! You just got played, motherfucker. What is he doing? He's just kicking someone on the ground? And then some guy comes up and just flying kicks him right in the chest. Amazon employee forced Manube Boomerang to fit in mailbox and rendered it completely useless. Oh, that sucks. Fucking mail people. That happens all the time. It says do not bend, but they will bend the fuck out of it and shove it in that mailbox. Oh, that is nice. A fantastic storm captured from the cockpit of an airliner over the ocean. Wow. That's funky looking. That's weird looking. Lightning being trapped in an... Oh! Acrylic block. Wow, look at that. What? And it's still like going afterwards. Now that's fucking cool. When someone else's kid is acting up. Oh, punch him. You just got bitch slapped. And then the mother picks him up and holds him. Oh, he's grabbing his kid's leg. That's cool. He's like, don't go off the edge. Damn, monkeys are cool. Okay, what are they listening to now? Hard to tell. Wait a minute. You hear? Mischief ravens are excellent at mimicking sounds they hear. Mischief, can you say hello? Hello. Good bird. He does all sorts of voices. Can you say hi? Hi. Good job. And sometimes he hears people who have no, a cold. Doesn't. <laughs> Good That's job, cool. Mr. Hi. Hi. Good Hi. boy. What else? Hello. What else? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. This is not working out, Daniel. <laughs> That's Good bird. so crazy how accurate they get. And I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen this one today. It's got sound apparently, but you don't need sound. It's just a... F oh, I'm not going to ruin it. 
here's the reveal. Ah, you don't get to see it. That's pretty cool. Holy Christ, it just keeps going. Oh, and it's still going. What? <laughs> we gotta see that again. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can't... It still kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's so crazy. Look at that dog. That haircut. It's just floofed. Floof! More calligraphy. Making dumplings in your mouth. Wow, that's a cool idea. Man, Japanese people are always coming up with creative and cool, simpler ways of doing things. They're really good. They've got a great engineering mind. Ugh, I don't want to read that. That looks sad. <gasps> <sighs> stupid, stupid people. Like, she didn't even look. At least look in the direction the traffic's coming, you stupid hoe. God. Oh, this is next-gen hair, gaming hair physics. That looks really good. Oh, she doesn't have a face. Oh, that's creepy. That looks like real hair. All set for my meeting with the students that missed more than 30 classes this semester and emailed me to set up an appointment to talk about his grade. You don't deserve to pass. Change my mind. Ah... Very clever. Very, very clever. Very, very clever. Very, 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 very. Look, someone made a, a Valley Cast intro. I can't believe this cat is making a comeback. I saw this thing back in 2006 not funny stop being poor yay Paris when I was younger I felt like a man trapped in a woman's body then I was born da -da -ch. Eh, you know what with that being said I think we'll end it here so thank you for watching the dynamite gizmo podcast I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Look at him. Look at those dogs. These are bigger dogs. Ratting with terriers. So the act is called ratting. Bing bong, ching chong, bing bong. We don't want it, ping fong. Sing a song, sing a song, I'm so hungry. But everyone knows. Everyone knows I'm hungry. Everyone knows. Everyone knows I'm hungry!